Number 60. The following quantities are placed in a container. So we have 1.5 times 10 to the 24th atoms of hydrogen. We have 1.0 moles of sulfur. And we have 88.8, no, 88.0 grams of diatomic oxygen. And then we have letter C. So it says, if the mixture of the three elements formed a compound with molecules that contained two hydrogen atoms, one sulfur atom, and four oxygen atoms, which substance is consumed first? Okay, so I wrote down the quantities that are in this hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen on the screen. So 2.5 moles of hydrogen, one mole of sulfur, and 5.5 moles of oxygen. This or these values were found in 60B. So if you want to find out how we went from these values to moles, Go back to 60B, and that's where I explain them. But for this, we want to find out which substance is consumed first. And just know that the substance that's always consumed first is called the limiting reagent or reactant. Okay, so is it going to be hydrogen, sulfur, or oxygen? Well, this comes from what's going on with the two or the three atoms. Now we're trying to make a compound that contains two hydrogen atoms, and we could use this as a sort of quantity. Since we're dealing with all in moles here, we can say that this compound, whatever it is, is going to require two moles of hydrogen, and it's going to require one mole of sulfur, and it's going to require four moles of oxygen. And these quantities, these mole quantities, is what we have, or, um, you know, what, I guess we'll say we have. So we have 2.5 moles, one mole of sulfur and 5.5 moles of oxygen. So the compound is going to be needing from our stock two moles of hydrogen, one mole of sulfur, and four. Now, I say to myself, okay, do I have enough to take away two moles? Yes, I do. I have extra. For the one mole of sulfur, I exactly have one mole. So once that one mole gets taken away, I will have none left. Oh. So once this is at the end of the day, if I subtract these two, I will have zero moles of sulfur left. And then I say to myself, okay, I have 5.5 moles of oxygen. I need four. Well, when I subtract them, I will have some left over. Same thing with the hydrogen. But with the sulfur, I have zero moles left over. This will be consumed first. And who's going to be consumed first? Sulfur. Because when you do the subtraction, uh, you won't have anything left. So there you go. Now I think we can quickly just sum up letter D because there is a letter D here as well, which I'll put right here. So letter D says how many atoms of each remaining element would remain unreacted in the change described in this letter C where we had the two moles of hydrogen, the one mole of sulfur, and the four moles of oxygen. Well, we kind of already discussed it, right? How much is going to be remaining is going to be the subtraction from we have minus we need, right? Or whatever the compound is telling us that it needs. So just like we did one minus one to get zero moles left, we're going to do 2.5 moles minus two, so we get 0 0.5 moles of hydrogen left over. So that's one of the answers. And let's do it for the oxygen. I subtract that 5.5 minus 4. Uh, what is that? 1.5? 5.5 minus 4. Well, look at that. 1.5. So we got 1.5 moles of oxygen that is left over. So those are how much is not reacted. 
And that answers letter D. So actually we did C and D in one in one uh one ago here. So cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope this helps you out. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. And I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep studying hard. And I'm rooting for you on your tests and quizzes. I will talk to you soon in the next lesson. Okay. Bye-bye.